Logan Airport is feeling the effects of the weather. The FAA is reporting about an hour delay for planes flying into Logan. They cite the windy conditions for those delays. Well, the roads are doing well. That's the good news. No major tie-ups at the moment. Let's get right to Christina Rex out along the pike tonight in Westboro. Christina. Liam, this year was anticipated to be one of the worst travel years ahead of Thanksgiving. But right now, for the commute out of Boston for the holidays, the worst part is the weather. This year, there's plenty to be thankful for, like going above 30 miles an hour on the Mass Pike as you head home for Thanksgiving. It's been okay so far. Um, I, GPS is saying I'm going to hit some traffic coming up. but been okay so far. Westbound, it ebbs and flows. A welcome surprise for families heading to upstate New York after slowly chugging their way out of Boston. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Have you yeah. ever ridden in Boston <laughs> or driven in Boston? It's absurd. Lots yes, it's a lot of traffic. Yeah. But when you leave at 4 p.m. on a Wednesday before Thanksgiving, it should be. So pack your podcast playlists and your people for the journey or maybe some coffee if you've got kids in the back seat. We have a lot of candy. We have a lot of things going out there. A couple of dogs. And remember, we could live in Atlanta or L.A., where the only stuffing happening was with cars on the highway. Take a look at that. That is just a giant parking lot. So there's always something to be thankful for. Thankful for a new job. I got uh, was uh, unemployed for a little while, so thankful for a new job. Everything, every day. We don't just need Thanksgiving. That's exactly right. Family, friends, and good health. Got it. Don't worry about it. If you even look at travel apps right now, it's all green with the tiniest bit of yellow, pretty good traffic, and everyone here at the Westboro rest stop is feeling pretty lucky. In Westboro, Christina Rex, CBS in Boston.